Gajuldoba is a village in the Malbazar subdivision of the Jalpaiguri district in the state of West Bengal, India. The Tista Dam built for irrigational purposes has created extensive marshland providing widespread and different kind of habitats for migratory water birds. The guide walls built ahead of the dam to direct the water flow towards the log gates has created marshlands with all different sorts of vegetation in and around water, which shelters most of the bird species, while the dam ensures constant flow of water. As the wetland is vast and not quite accessible on foot, the only way to cover such widespread habitat is by boats. The only place where one can hire a boat is at the ghat near the entrance of the Pakhibitan sanctuary. Our journey starts in one such boat and traversing through tall vegetation, we went towards open waters and upstream as our first target was a species that prefers rapid waters where they hunt for fish. Yes, the common morganser. It took us more than two hours of sailing upstream to get to the part of river where the Marganzers used to be. We first encountered a group of greater cormorants who prefers almost similar habitat. Like the Marganzers, the cormorant also hunt in groups for fish and crustaceans. This was my first glimpse of the Margansers. They were at a distance of 100 meters or more and were going away from us. At 50 meters they were fleeing from us and gave us very little time to properly film them. But I managed to make some distant images. In a group of 12 birds, the only male was particularly handsome and different in plumage pattern. The females were also very pretty. I particularly like this image of the male where his crest is fluffed up. As there are not many birds that prefers to be upstream, we sailed back towards the marshes through the crystal clear shallows of the river Tista. Before reaching the marshes, we found some sand flats that are slightly above the water level, and some were like tiny islands. The sand flats on the river were resting places for several species of wetland birds. First to be seen were river lapwings. This particular individual was taking a morning dip into the icy river water, which looked quite refreshing.
while others ran around aimlessly this one was alarmed and started calling to alert his friends about our presence another tiny island and was occupied by a group of northern lapuins mostly idling around some were sitting on the sand with their eyes closed others were curious came close to the boat inquisitively to inspect us A sanderling travels the sandy flat busily piping for food. Few years away a flock of pacific golden plovers were sighted we moved towards the marshes where most of the birds are expected on our way i spoke to our guide mr roby malo to gather some information which would help viewers to plan a similar trip to this amazing birding paradise named gajaldoba কেউ যদি আপনাকে মানে পুরো গাজলডোবা ঘুরতে চায় তো কতদিন সময় দিলে ভালো হবে গাজলডোবা পুরো এরিয়াটা আপনাকে মেকআপ করতে গেলে ম্যাক্সিমাম 3 দিন টাইম লাগে আচ্ছা মানে যতগুলা ই আছে পাখি আছে হ্যাঁ এর ভিতরে প্রজাতি আছে তো সব মানে সবগুলা একদিনে মেকআপ করা সম্ভব না যেরকম আমরা মার্গেনজার দেখতে আসছি মার্গেনজার দেখতে এসে এখানে অনেক সময় শর্ট টট স্নেক ইগল স্টেপ ইগল এই হোয়াইট টেলিগোল আরও অন্যান্য কিছু র্যাপটার পাওয়া যায় কিন্তু আজকে আমরা যখন এই মার্গেন্দার করলাম র্যাপটার কিন্তু আজকে আমরা একটাও পাই তাহলে হয়তো দেখা যায় আর একদিন আসতে পারে এখানে কিছু র্যাপটারও মিলতে পারে তিন দিনে আপনারা কি ডিফারেন্ট জায়গা ঘোরাবেন নাকি একই ট্রিপ বারবার হবে না এর ভিতরে কিছুগুলো সময় জায়গা আছে যে একই জায়গা হবে আবার কিছুগুলো জায়গা আছে হয়তো অন্যান্য জায়গা একটু ঘোরা হবে Breeding populations of great crested grebes are found from eastern Europe through southern Russia and to Mongolia. For wintering they migrate to coastal waters of Europe, southern Africa, Australia as well as in the bodies of waters throughout southern Asia. They can be found in variety of aquatic habitats like lakes, artificial water bodies, slow flowing rivers, swamps, bays and lagoons. Tufted ducks were in good numbers and flocked together in mixed groups with red-crested poachers, ferruginous ducks and common coots. They have a distinctive tuft behind their head which gives them their name. This ducks gives you opportunity to make stunning images while they take flight. A slightly bigger in size red-crested poachers were also in groups of 15 to 20 strong. Males had beautiful red crest and beak. Some males had a whitish coloration on their crest.
Common coots are among the commoners found in the marshes along with the migratory ones. These birds are most probably residents of this water body. The marshlands has beautiful narrow canals with greenery around it. Boating through it gives you a feel like being in the backwaters of Kerala. Several different water plant and water lilies provide habitat for numerous ducks and water pheasants and beautifies this part of the river in a manner which makes the marshes look entirely different from the rest of the riverbed. The farthest side of the marshland is bordered by the forest where we get to see some more bird species. The common poacher was busy preening when I first saw him. He began swimming with his ferruginous duck friend. A very colorful northern shoveler caught my sight. He peacefully swam across the marsh right in front of me. The ferruginous duck has a metallic copper colored plumage which slightly shines as the direct sunlight hits it. My guide spotted the falcated duck from a distance of about 100 meters and informed me that the bird is shy and can take off if approached any further. Not all birds are tolerant of human presence near them. I made some distant shots and clips and as our boat moved a few inches further, the bird took off and disappeared behind the tall grass. We were lucky to find the Pied Harrier female very close to us it was sitting hidden in the grass, maybe waiting to catch its next meal. It gave me ample time to make some good shots and when it took flight, gave me opportunity to make this beautiful close-up flight shot. At the end of the boat trip, I spoke to our guide once more to gather some information about how to make bookings with guides which is pretty important if you really want to make good photos of birds. একটা আছে বোরলি একটা আছে ভোরের আলো এই সব জায়গা ভোরের আলোটা আমরা নিজেরা বুকিং করে দিতে পারি না ওটা আপনারা অনলাইনে বুকিং করবেন আর যেটা আপনজন বোরলি এই সব কিছু রিসর্ট আছে ওগুলা বললে পরে আমরা ওগুলা নিজেরাই বুকিং করে দিতে পারি তার জন্য আপনাদেরকে 50% অগ্রিম দিতে হবে এই সব দিলে পরে আমরা 
সাথে সাথে ওইটা আপনাকে বুক করে দিতে পারে তাতে আপনাদের কোনো মুশকিল হবে না While there were some resorts very near to the Tista Baraj and near to the marshland, I chose to stay a couple of kilometers deep inside the forest, where it is peaceful, gives me a feel of staying in a forest on one side and a tea estate stretching for kilometers on the other. The village is called Saraswatipur and our stay is named Gajoldoba Eco Rest House. The property is cozy with two cottages with couple of rooms each. A huge lawn and a restaurant overlooking the river Tista at a distance. The property had couple of huge butia trees also known as polash in Bengali. These polished flowers attract many bird species like starlings and miners. My room was spacey, clean and cozy with all expected amenities. The food served was also homely and tasty. They also served good Chinese food beside my choice of Bengali cuisine. In the evening you can take a walk in the nearby forest which gives you a very different perspective of the same place i would have missed a lot a major part of gajoldoba if not ventured out in the forest on foot it gives you an entirely different feel of peacefulness and serenity which is very hard to find in cities the saraswatipur tea estate is another attraction gives you opportunity to make some beautiful landscape images or you can just be in that place be in the moment and literally feel as time has stopped and all your worries and stress slowly fading away what i felt in that moment is that life could be lived in a very simple and peaceful way maybe someday i can come back with no will to return to anywhere <laughs>